In this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can make an area chart in Excel with ease. Now, area charts are awesome because they allow you to get a visual on A, how different pieces contributed to a whole, and how that changed over time. So you can see, for example, total sales on Monday, compared to Tuesday, and how Bob, Sally, Mary, and so on and so forth contributed to the sales for each day. So to do this, you first want to highlight the datum that you want to make into a chart. So using some keyboard shortcuts right here to do that. Then after this, you want to go to the insert tab and click, click recommended charts. Then after you click recommended charts, click all charts. And then go to the bottom where you can see area charts. And as you can see, there are a variety of different options for area charts. So you can see, for example, how the color coordination may changes. Uh, the color coordination changes. So you can see, um, for example, this right here is broken down by employee for um, each for, for each individual day. And you can see how this is um, kind of color coordinated a little bit differently as well. You you can also make it to where they are stacked. So it's so as opposed to just being an air chart, they are stacked. So each employee's um, sales is added up. And a different style for that as well too. Where here each each color represents the name, and then each point represents the name. And in this version, each each point represents a person, and each color represents a day. You can get it by hundred percent, which is good because useful because you can see like parts of a whole. So here you can see okay the whole is one hundred percent, but how does this individually break apart by person? You can see it more three dimensional. This, this is a good option too, because as you can see this version right here of the area chart, um, this is good because you can get a nice little visual, but as you can see, it almost kind of looks like there are some pieces that are hidden behind one another. This, this 3D area chart is good because you can see how they're broken down even better and you get a better visual on that. As you, as you can see more angles. Here you can see a stacked 3D area chart. So the same thing with the area chart right here but before the stacks and here you can see a three dimensional um stacks area chart so for this example we're just going to click on the stacks area chart right here and we're going to pick this one and as you can see um now we have an area chart and there are a lot of things you can do to edit it edit it so you can click plus right here you can click access titles and you can just type in the axis and edit it in a lot of ways they normally would text so you can see day you can hide this go to the home tab and you can change the size of this the color to be whatever color you want the fill the boldness so on and so forth you can edit axis titles very similar in ways that you can normal text you can add data labels this doesn't necessarily work for this examples but as you can see it shows the numbers for every single um, person every single day. Data table, which again, as you can see, doesn't necessarily work for this example, but it, I well, if this was larger, it would show underneath the chart, but um, as you can see, it shows underneath the chart, you know, a table of this data. Error bars, so you can see that. Grid lines, these are optional as well too. And legends. So you can choose to hide and hide the legends. In a lot of these, you can even um, click on this options right here and play around this a bit. But I just want to show you that you can have a lot of flexibility. They can do in some of the more um, advanced options with Excel in editing the chart. So, you can, for example, you can um, choose to have one chart, not the other. One axis, not the other. You can also edit. Just the chart in a lot of different ways, such as the text direction, vertical alignment, and more. You can even edit the grid lines, for example, so you can have horizontal, vertical grid lines, minor horizontal, minor vertical, and even more. You can change the width of the grid lines, transparency. And the color, so if you want them to be dark black, so you show up more, um, you can. I'm going to take them back to gray. But you kind of get the point, though. 
as well as the legends. So you can have it on the top, left, bottom, and there's more options as well too. You can even adjust the style of your chart. So clicking this chart style icon right here, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of like awesome pre-made styles in Excel. You know, some of these might fit your needs, some of these might not. But you can just kind of mess around with this and look a little bit and just pick one that you think looks cool. I think this looks cool. Um, this can be converting your chart a little bit faster right here. And you can also adjust the colors as well too. So you can pick um, a color icon right here too. That might fit your needs more. And as you can see, there's even more flexibility than, to have than what the premium options are available. So as you can see by hovering over how to change these colors, you can say you can go to the page layout, click tab, click colors in the themes group, and then select the theme color from the colors group. So to kind of show you that page layout, then you go to colors, and then you can click customize colors at the bottom, where you can just customize the colors right here, do whatever color you think will best fit the needs of your graph, which I think is pretty cool. Um, for this one, I'm just going to go with the original one. So, you can also edit the, edit the data that I see in the graph. So you can, for example, um, filter. We're going to scroll down a bit so you can see it a bit better. Zoom out a bit. Zoom in a bit. Sorry, just... You can filter. You can, for example, let's say you're like, oh, what does it look like without when a haze not included? Um, you can click the Haley, click apply. You can see Haley's no longer there. What if Andrew wasn't there or Rebecca? You can click apply. As you can see, they're not there anymore. And if you're like, oh, well, I want all the state in the table, but I don't want Sunday or Saturday, I only want the weekdays. You can uncheck those boxes, click apply, and so on and so forth. Um, and use this to filter out the data that is just kind of shown. You can even select data, which is cool because that gives you more flexibility as to what data actually shows up in the graph. Even switch rows and columns, right, right there. It kind of switches the um, the way data is shown. So as you can see right here, every point is a day. Every color is a person. Switch rows and columns. Every color is a day. Now every point is a person. So as you can see, that just kind of switched, which um, I think is pretty cool. How I can just do that with a button, personally. So I just kind of wanted to show you how you can um, edit a lot of the um, data. And another way they can do is you can add the data that is shown within the graph. Is just drag these, click these boxes right here, and drag. Which is another way that you can just quickly and easily edit the data that is shown in the graph. I said I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. The goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by 2023, so let's go. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.